my name is Savannah and today I will be guiding you through a yoga practice to help manage and relieve anxiety. I hope this class is able to help you even just a little bit. If you have any questions about this practice, please leave them in the comments below and I would be happy to answer them. Let's begin in a comfortable seated position. Let's begin by connecting in with our breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth five times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, sigh it out. Four more breaths just like that. Inhale nice and big through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, one more just like that, inhale, let it go through the mouth, good, and then from here if you can breathe in and out through the nose. We're going to practice a grounding exercise. That will help you to tune into your five senses to get into the here and the now, the present moment, to ground you and center you. You're probably off thinking into the future, what might be happening later today, later this week. Your mind is off away. We're going to help you to bring it right here, right now, into this present moment. So look around your space, around the room that you are in, and find five things that you can see. Maybe it is your yoga mat. Maybe it is a door or a window. Maybe it is your phone, or your computer, your water bottle, whatever it is, find five things that you can see. And then from here, think of four things that you can feel. And maybe one of them is that you are feeling anxious. That's okay, that works. But maybe you can feel your clothing on your body. Maybe you are feeling warm or cold. Maybe you have some hair that is in your face and you can feel that. Maybe you can feel your yoga mat underneath you. You can feel the texture or the stickiness of your yoga mat. Thinking of four things you can feel. And then we'll think of three things that we can hear. Maybe there's some traffic you hear outside, a busy street. Maybe you hear a dog barking. Maybe you hear your breath. Maybe you hear voices in the background. You hear the sound of my voice. Three things that you can hear. And then from here, I want you to think of two things that you can smell. So this one you might have to think a little bit harder. There isn't always something that we can smell. 
And if there is really nothing that you can smell right here and right now, I would like you to think of two of your favorite smells. But some things that you might be smelling right now are maybe some essential oils you have in your diffuser or a room spray. And then the last one is one thing that you can taste. What can you taste right now? So one example would be if you brushed your teeth not too long ago and you can taste your toothpaste in your mouth from, you can taste that fresh breath from brushing your teeth. So think of just one thing that you can taste. And then once you're all done, just notice without any judgment, how you feel right now. There's no right or wrong, good or bad. Just pay attention and observe any changes from how you feel now compared to when we first began this practice. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll count our breaths Inhale one, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, and so on, all the way up to the number 20. And if you lose count, that is perfectly fine. Just return back to number one. And it's okay if you do not get to the number 20. So I'll start by guiding us off and then I'll let you continue counting on your own. Let's begin now. Inhale one, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, inhale four, Exhale four. Continue at this going at your own pace now. And once again, if you lose count, just return back to number one. Allow your breath to be nice and full and nice and complete.
three things that you are grateful for. It could be big or small. Whatever comes to mind is great. Just three things that you are grateful for in this moment. From here, let's begin to move. Let's come to a tabletop position on hands and knees. So shoulders are over wrists and hips are over top of the knees. Fingers are spread nice and far apart. Ground into all 10 fingers. And then also ground down into your knees and into the tops of your feet. Feel really stable, steady, and center here in your tabletop. Allow your spine to be neutral. Allow your heart to be pulled a little bit forward. And take a couple of breaths here, in and out through your nose. Feel your yoga mat support you. And can you also feel the ground beneath you supporting you? Can you press a little bit more into your hands? into all 10 fingers, down into your knees, and into the tops of your feet. Press all of those points of contact a bit more into your mat. From here, let's take child's pose. Bring your big toes together. Knees can come closer together or farther apart, whatever works good for you. You'll sit the hips down onto the heels. Arms come out in front of you. Forehead rest down onto the mat. If you prefer, you can also bring the hands alongside your body, fingertips towards the toes. Make any adjustments that you need to in your pose and then settle in and try to find some stillness. Connect in with your breath. Notice all the parts of your body that are touching the yoga mat right now. Your forehead, your knees, your shins, the tops of your feet, and the backs of your hands if your arms are alongside your body, or if your arms are up front, the palms, and your arms, your shoulders, Feel your hips rest down onto your heels. Hear your breath moving in and out through your nose. And know that in this moment, you are safe. You are right here, right now. There's nothing you need to do Know where you need to be. Allow yourself to gradually come into this moment. One more breath here in this pose. From here, come into tabletop. Let's step the right foot forward in between the hands. Top of the mat, the left knee is down. You can stay with the hands up on the mat along on either side of the right foot. Or you can bring the hands onto the right thigh. It's completely up to you. And in this low lunge, feel your shoulders stack over top of your hips. Feel your right foot ground down into the mat, your back knee, your left knee, your left shin, and the top of 
the left foot, ground down into the mat as well. Feel stable and steady and supported in this pose. And allow your breath to flow. Let's stay here for three more breaths. Can you breathe a little bit deeper? As we breathe deeply, we are able to hear our breath and we are able to stay connected to our breath. Maybe as this happens, our anxiety is relieved a little bit. Let's bring the hands down to the mat if they were not already. And let's just step the right knee back into tabletop. From here, grounding into the hands, fingertips spread nice and far apart. Inhale to arch the spine. Coming into cow pose, exhale to round the spine, look down towards your mat, angry cat. Inhale to arch, find a little bit of a back bend, lift your tailbone, lift the crown of the head, exhale to round. One more time, inhale to arch and exhale to round. Come to tabletop and let's take that low lunge on the other side. So left foot steps through, right knee stays down. Hands can stay down on the mat on either side of the foot, or you can bring the hands onto the left thigh or the left knee. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Crown of the head is lifted up towards the ceiling and feel so steady and stable in this pose through your left foot, your right foot, as well as your right knee, the right shin, Allow your breath to bring you back into this moment. Can you breathe a little bit deeper? And can you press down into your left foot and the top of your right foot a little bit more? Can you press your right knee down into the mat a little bit more as well? Take one final breath in this pose. From here, hands come down if they were not already, and just step the left knee back into tabletop pose. From here, we'll take a pose to focus on the upper body, the chest and the shoulders. Oftentimes with anxiety, we feel the shoulders come up to the ears like that, and we have lots of tension and tightness around the shoulders, the chest, and the upper back. So this is a great pose to help with some of that. So starting at tabletop, make your way towards the back of your mat a little bit now so you have more space to the front. Hips will stay directly over the knees. You'll walk your hands out to the top corners of your mat. Rest your forehead down towards the mat. It's okay if it doesn't reach but we're allowing the heart to melt in the direction of the mat, down towards the earth. The forehead can rest or it can stay lifted, and the hips stay high, stacked over the knees. Arms are extended out long. Fingertips are spread nice and far apart. And notice where you feel this pose in your own body. It is one thing for me to tell you where you might be feeling this pose in your body, but it is another thing to experience the pose and ask yourself where you feel it in your own body. Every 
everybody is different. So maybe for you, you don't feel this in your chest at all. Maybe it's all in your shoulders. Maybe for someone else, they don't feel it in their shoulders and they feel it a lot in their upper back. Always welcome to make adjustments in the pose and then once you feel comfortable settle in with your breath and stay in the pose Let's take two more breaths. Last breath here, full inhale, and maybe you exhale through your mouth. Sigh it out. Gradually making your way back at the tabletop, bringing your hands towards your knees. And from here, let's take the right foot in between the hands, top of the mat once again. This time, bring your right foot towards the right side of your mat. Both hands come to the inside of your foot. So can you press down into your mat with your right foot with both of your hands, as well as with your left knee and the top of your left foot? Can you reach your heart forward a little bit, as well as the crown of your head forward? As always, you're welcome to make any adjustments, any changes to the pose, and then settle in with your breath. We'll be here for about three more breaths. One more breath here before we switch sides. Good, step the right foot back into tabletop from here. And then right away, step the left foot through top of your mat, heel toe the left foot to the left side of your mat, both hands come to the inside of that left foot. Allow your left foot to press more weight into the ground, into your yoga mat. As well, press your right knee at your right top of the foot down into the mat and both of your hands. And then think of finding one length in your spine. Allow your heart to reach forward. Allow the crown of the head to reach forward. Allow the hips to be heavy towards the ground. We're here in this lizard pose on the left side for three more breaths. Can you breathe a little bit deeper? Can you hear your breath? If you can hear your breath, use your breath to really stay connected with your practice, to stay in this present moment. And if you can't quite hear your breath, try to breathe deeply so that you can hear your breath, so that you can come back to your breath at any point during your practice. Let's now take the left foot back into tabletop. 
Let's make our way to the top of our mat, stepping both feet up to the top of our mat and coming into a forward fold. So bend the knees as much as you need to. Allow your belly and your chest to rest over top of your thighs. Bring opposite hand, opposite elbow. Really bend your knees here. This isn't about getting the legs straight and finding a stretch for the hamstrings. This is about finding some ease in the pose. Bend the knees, allow yourself to hang out in this pose. The head is heavy towards the ground. Your upper body drapes down over your thighs. Stay here in this pose for three more breaths. From here, take the hands down to the mat, step back into a tabletop. From here, let's make our way onto our back. Coming down onto the back, taking your time, resting the head down, coming into happy baby, bending the legs, bringing the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Knees come towards the sides of your body. Knees are super bent. You can grab onto the shins, the knees, the hamstrings, or maybe the big toes or the outer edges of your feet. Play around and see what works for you in this pose. And then come back into your breath. Come back into this moment. Be right here, right now, and breathe into the pose. Notice how you are feeling. Notice how you are feeling without any kind of judgment attached to that feeling. There is no right or wrong way to feel right now. And if you are feeling anxious right now, can you begin to gradually accept that? If you are feeling a little bit more calm and relaxed, that is good too. One is not any better or worse than the other. Let's release happy baby and bring the knees into the chest. Arms wrap, wrap around the shins. Maybe you rock from side to side or you find stillness in the pose. Become aware of all of the parts of your body that are touching your mat. Feel that connection with your mat. One more big breath here. You always have the option to press pause and to stay in the pose longer. And push play and join us whenever you are ready. Let's extend the legs long now. Arms go long alongside your body. 
Take up lots of space on your mats as you come into Shavasana. Allow yourself to rest here. This is the final posture of class. Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself feel at home. Lengthen out each exhale breath a little bit more. Allow the exhale to be longer than your inhale. And maybe you allow your exhale to be twice as long as the inhale. So perhaps you have an inhale of four and an exhale of eight. That is just one example, but breathe in whatever way works for you. Take a moment to thank yourself for helping yourself, for finding a tool for your anxiety that might work for you, for experimenting, playing around, and for deeply nourishing yourself, for taking care of not only your body, but also your mind, for paying attention to your mental health. Take a moment to thank yourself for noticing that you are experiencing some anxiety. Thank yourself for connecting and paying attention to how you are feeling. Thank yourself for connecting in and noticing what is going on right now for you. And thank yourself for working towards finding what works for you in dealing with this anxiety that you are experiencing. I'll leave you to rest here in your Shavasana. You're welcome to stay here for as long as you would like. Take your time. I really hope that this practice was able to help you, even just at least a little bit. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today.